Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel. Whether you're new or coming back, today we are gonna be talking about Autumn Equinox. Uh, it's happening on September 22nd. Uh, of course, uh, timing wise, you can always check the details if you're interested, but this is one of those uh, important points in the year um, that where we recognize it's a certain milestone, right? And the Autumn Equinox basically saying that Yes, we know days have been uh, growing shorter and now we're at the point where the day and the night of equal lengths, right? We're able to see this balance, this yin and yang, this balance of shadow and light. And we can balance out and reset ourselves to something unimaginable, something completely different than what we and who we have been so far. So it unleashes a lot of potential for us. And now it's actually also in, well, it's not in the middle, but it's kind of in the middle of the eclipse season, right? When the huge transformations and shifts are happening. So that makes it even more significant. So I want to do a quick reading today um, around these new opportunities that it's bringing in, right? We'll get the good news that are coming in for us, for the viewers. Uh, we'll understand what kind of lessons are we able to learn at this time. So that could be connected with karma, uh, but then uh, interpreted how it resonates for you and your story. And then we'll add, uh, so that will be just for everyone, for the twins, and then we'll add specific guidance messages for each of the twin collectives in terms of the connection and, you know, what is coming up and what is the advice here. But we will start with the message from Keepers of the Light. And first of all, let's get a card for Divine Feminine's watching. Green Terra, Supreme Protection. Oh, I love this card so much. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond the limitation and trust. So keep moving and trust. This is mm, almost like that time when you've done the retrospective, you've reflected, you've sat with it and now it's time to it's like yep time to go and take action on this and even if you feel like you don't have all the information yet because our brain will want to be comfortable with the amount of information before it can proceed that's not an excuse uh, and then for the masculines we have archangel michael trust in heaven you are safe <laughs> sounds familiar Angels stand close, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. But this is a little different because this is about allowing. It's almost like there is a flip, right? Very interesting yin and yang vision, actually, that feminists are asked to trust and continue taking action. Masculines are asked to trust and surrender, allow a miracle to occur, surrender your concerns. We'll use the terror of magical moments for the main reading today. Come on, give me a chance to shuffle a little bit. These cards are beautiful. They're also quite big, actually. So we'll get the good news that are coming up as a result of this or that come in with the equinox. We'll see the lessons that we're learning and we'll get a message for each of the twin collectives. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so you see it is the putting in the work card, but it's also in this deck, it's very creative, very childlike. So I'm getting here that it's very important to remember that your dream fulfillment is not necessarily about... Um, it's not necessarily about putting in lots of hours and exhausting yourself to death. It's, if anything, a lot of times, especially when we are, look at this, Ace of Cups, uh, when we are on a spiritual path and it's more and more about doing something creative, right? Uh, showing your true self. And a lot of times that actually has to do with our inner child, with doing something that's fun, that brings us fulfillment. So let's look at the um, information about the good news that are coming in. We have Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands, and Three of Wands. A little bit of Swords, a little bit of Wands. 
<sighs> yeah, so I like actually how the Knight of Wands is jumping towards this uh, this mountain, right? It's like, yes, I have my eyes on the prize. And there's been some illusion on the way to this mountain, to this place where we can finally sit down and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Uh, but we've been, we've called their bluff, so to speak. Whoever was doing that to us, whoever was trying to trick us, or to keep us small, we said, no, that's not gonna work this time, that's enough, right? And the good news is, of course, that we are conquering the mountain. We are at that point where we are ready to celebrate. There's just a little bit of a push and there will be that passionate celebration of the outcome, at least for this milestone. Then we have the lessons. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, and Six of Wands. Yeah, the lesson is that, again, the victory oftentimes doesn't require force and power. The victory requires authenticity and walking away from what is not authentic, right? From something that may have looked shiny and good on paper, but actually didn't serve you in the long run. So it's almost like this victory will come over learning that those victories are, are pretty quiet. Right, and they happen naturally when we are in our natural state, which is easier said than done, but it is possible. So that's what we're learning, that it's not about doing something out there, it's about cleansing our own space, our uh, mind, our emotional state, and removing anything that's not serving us and is becoming a burden, or is already a burden. What's the message for the feminine in this? Page of Swords, clarified by Page of Swords. I love this. Thank you. <sighs> so they are a little bit different, of course, because uh, this one is more of a scholar, you know, studying and becoming smarter and smarter and more and more qualified every day. This person, especially in After Tarot, they already have people, people with lots of expectations on them. So feminine may be thinking that she's not ready yet, or they're not ready yet, but the clock is ticking. And it's like, yep, time to go. And that's where this green terror comes in, where it's like, don't worry about that. You know enough. This is your moment. Keep going. And that is regarding the connection, by the way. So this is like, whatever you feel guided to do, the next step, you're ready for it. Don't hesitate. For masculines, we have King of Pentacles, clarified by King of Cups. I love this. Almost as much as two pages of swords. <laughs> uh, masculines embrace the more grounded, um, grounded and wise uh, person, you know, someone who has been through a lot in life and they know their way around life. Uh, and at the same time, staying in their loving and kind self, right? You know, like when they say that if when the person has been through a lot, that it roughens them, it roughens their heart. Uh, but masculines are able to sustain their inner loving um, center, <laughs> their heart center intact, right? And this is key. This is a treasure to celebrate, to cherish. If you feel like you're not there, Divine Masculine, that's something to work on because that's exactly what you will need in order to be able to come into union with your Divine Feminine. Okay, so as promised, this was a quick read. This was about Autumn Equinox uh, that's coming up on September 22nd. I'm probably traveling as you're watching this video uh, I'm either in Portugal or in Greece. I will resume videos as soon as I can. There will be a bit of a break, uh, but I'll talk to you again very, very soon, hopefully from a nice setup with a nice background of sea and mountain, something beautiful. I love you all, and until next time.